Okay, David, it's time to get started. Okay. There's your dial. It's got a little bit of dust and perhaps a bit of patination. We'll see. Yeah, that's just dust. That's great. I was nervous that it was the loss of surface integrity that a lot of these see, but there and your hand has taken taken on a little patina of its own I believe that's just dirt let's take a look here yes that is just dust. Perfect. Oh, that's very good. Okay. Very nice. Okay, back of your dial is a 5N, back of your case is a 5D, one month, which is very nice. Okay, David, that is the teardown of your movement. We are going to go ahead and inspect everything very closely and do some jeweling in the arbor ports. I'm going to take a close look at your barrel to make sure that there's not a lot of wear uh, 
in the barrel itself. It looks okay, just want to be sure. Um, but overall, so far it looks pretty good. All right, we'll be back. Okay, David, everything is uh, out of the cleaner. Really looking good so far. Um, no, no obvious issues. I've got everything uh, inspected. Got you a new jewel here in your lower mainspring arbor port. And we have a corresponding jewel in the upper mainspring arbor port right there. So now you have a, a very, very bulletproof movement. It's going to last essentially forever. Given some service is done over time. All right, let's go ahead and get things back together. Okay, that's running. Let's go ahead and check and see how it's doing. Be right back. Okay, that's not a bad place to start. Let's go ahead and make some adjustments. Okay, well, that's looking like it's going in the right direction. I think I'm going to just let things break in, let it kind of find its way, and we'll come back and have another look. But signal is super clean. That is really nice. It takes a little while sometimes for the lubrication to find its happy place. So we're going to let that work its way through, and then we'll take another look. All right, we'll be back. Okay, well, I think we've um, broken in enough to get started on the other side. I'm going to make a few more fine adjustments to the rate uh, once we get in the case, but the numbers are looking fantastic. So we're going to get, um, get going on the other side. Okay, looking good. Okay, David, we're going to finish the process.
Okay, that's the movement built. We're going to go ahead and put the dial and hands back on and finish our process. Okay, David, we are at the final few parts. Let's go ahead and get things back together. Okay, well there we are. There is your 1975 6139 6005. All cleaned, serviced, and ready to go. So let's review what we did. The service went really well. I'm very happy with the outcome. The watch is running impeccably, impeccably well. I'm really satisfied with, with the outcome of, uh, of the service process. Um, overall, cosmetically, there was really nothing to do. I cleaned um, your sub-second hand, this one here, this minute counter, and I cleaned your, your main hands just to get the haze off. I didn't polish them or do anything. That, that finish is, is very sensitive, so you have to be careful um, using any sort of material on them other than a little bit of just light cleaning um, compound. So that's been taken care of. Uh, otherwise, the watch is just gorgeous. I mean, I cleaned it up, put it through the sonication, you know, just really hand cleaning. I have a little protective sticker here, that's what that is. Um, I also uh, cleaned your bracelet and got that ready to go back on, so that'll that'll go on when when it comes home with uh, with your end links here. Um, yeah, nothing nothing really major to report. It it was just in in f really good shape to begin with. So um, new crystal, of course. We put new seals everywhere. Here are your old seals, and what's left of your pusher seal should be in here somewhere. <laughs> so that's that's that. Um, these will all come home. Here's your your bushing that was replaced with a jewel in your um, in your bridge. So that's that's been taken care of. Yeah, let's kind of just go through the functions of the watch. So yeah, nothing nothing to report major. Um, I tried as best I could to ensure that your uh, minute recording hand is not going to pop off. Uh, these these hands are sort of a I wouldn't say they're a one-time push-on hand, but the the tube is of course a little bit smaller than it's an interference fit, a little bit smaller than the pinion that sticks out. And if it's come on and off a few times, or if it's been reset pretty hard a few times, you know, going from the bottom back to the top, there's a lot of torque, um, and they they can get loose and pop off. Um, and if they've been taken off, you know, or have come off, that means that they have to sort of be reset in terms of the tube diameter, the inner diameter of the tube. So I did that a little bit. Um, I was able to uh, stake that down just to get it uh, in the right spot. But chronograph is working exactly as it should. Uh, let's just go through the uh, time setting. Day and date, click over. We were at 10.10 a.m., so let's go through the day here and click over. There we go, Monday the 2nd. And now that we're far away from the click over here, we can go through the day and date with the correctors. There we go. Back to Red Sunday. Um, like I tell everyone, running your chronograph is perfectly fine. That's the way uh, that you know, you can, you can either turn it on or turn it off, it doesn't really matter. 
The only moment to really be concerned about um, to preserve the hand and the, and the chronograph wheel is in the reset. So even if you're running it or you, you use it to time something or whatever, restart the chronograph and try and get it as close to midnight as possible before you hit the reset button. So you can see you're just past midnight and your, your chronograph um, minute recording hand is, is popped over one. Of course there's nothing you can do about with the position of that, but you can help preserve this hand and the wheel it's attached to by ensuring that you're resetting as close to midnight as possible. And running it is perfectly fine. So let's get back to here. Um, yeah, so I'll go ahead and put your, put your bracelet back on, get everything ready to go, and send this back to you. So David, thank you very much for trusting me with your watch. I'm sorry for the long delay, of course. Um, I am super busy, but uh, we got there, and um, this is going to be a great runner for a very long time ahead. And I, I really appreciate it, and thanks, of course, for watching.